Hello again, here we will see how to install PyInput. This is the module that we need to get the keys from the keyboard. Then we are able to make our script and run it. Okay. After that, we will see how to run the script in the background so no one sees that it is running and how to stop that background process. Okay. And what we need to do this? At least we need to have Python installed, of course, and we need a code or or text editor. I will use Visual Studio Code, but you can use whatever you want, okay? Even Notepad. The first step is install py and put. I am using Visual Studio Code, so I go here to Terminal, New Terminal, and this is nothing more than a PowerShell terminal. We go here and we type pip space install space pi and put we hit enter and now we have pi and put installed okay we can close these and we open this file my logger pi and now we can do our code and we type from pi and put dot keyboard import listener pi and put is the module that have the tools to listen to the keyboard okay then we need to import logging as log that will help us log into a file the keys that we listen from the keyboard okay the next step is configure the log and we type log.basic config we pass the file name that is equals to keylog.txt for example we pass the level that is equals to log.debug and we pass the format of the string that is equals to percentage open close and s inside of these we type asc time we type a dash and again percentage open close s and inside of these will be the message so this is the time and this is the message that will be written in the keylog.txt okay at this point we have the login configured now we will create the action that will happen every time that a key is pressed okay we declare here def dot on pressed key what will happen we will call the log.info and we will pass the string representation of the key the final step for our keylogger is register this action to the event that will happen every time that a key is pressed. So we go here and we say with listener, we pass the parameter on press is equals to on pressed, our function on pressed. So every time that this event is fired, our action will be executed. Okay, it will log the key we call these as listener and inside we say listener dot join just this to run this we just need to open the terminal and type by my logger or we can go here to the folder where we have the script and double click on it it opens this window and it must stay opened because if we close it stops our keylogger and if you notice here we have here a new file keylog okay i go here to a notepad window and i will type something and if we open this file keylog we have here something now if i close this terminal and i type else our keylog will not have the else part okay to run this in the background, we must change the extension of our script. Instead of pi, it must be pi w. We go to Visual Studio Code and we rename the file to be instead of pi is pi w. Okay. After this, we can go here to the folder, run the script again. Apparently, nothing happens. Okay. But if we go here to our Notepad and we type space one two three we open the keylog file and now we have here space one two three okay to stop this we must go to task manager and search for Python 
and the one that have a rocket is the one that must be closed so right click and task and if we write something else in our notepad and open the key log again we don't have here the new update of what we wrote okay if you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Remember, you can download the source code, the link is in the description of the video. And as always, thank you for watching.